Hey guys, it's Jake's Tutorials, and today I'll be showing you how to make a simple animated banner or a logo. Depends on the width and height that you choose. So what you'll need for this is some type of Photoshop. I'm not sure if it works for um, lower versions, but I'm using CS4, so if you don't have it, just go to Adobe.com, download the free trial, or buy it. It's um, 1000 or 700 which it really depends which one you want but I have the extended version so once you're done with that once you've had everything you want to go into Photoshop then this is where you choose you want to go to file new and for the banners I like 500 by 100 and I normally um, choose different ones for logos um, depends how big you want it so check that it really depends but I'm just going to make a banner so if I have 100 by 100 and before people comment I know I sound really weird because I'm sick I've been sick for the past two days so please don't make fun of me you know and so if I sniffle or something just that's why um, so once you've gotten this layer I like going into the gradient tool and finding a color that I like. I usually use red. Then you just want to push OK and um, sure, I'll do this one. And next, you want to go into the text tool and just drag that. And I'm going to name it Jake Tutorials for the first. And maybe make it a little bigger. Really depends what you want. And then if you click on the layer, you'll see it changes to um, that word. And what you want to do is right click on that, duplicate layer, and sorry if you hear some background noises, that's my little brother. Um, so sorry about that. But, anyways, duplicate layer, and then push OK. And then you basically want to uncheck the first text layer. And to make it um, not visible, I guess you can say. <clears throat> and then you want to go into the second part. And actually, um, don't do this, but I'm just going to get rid of the animation since I haven't gone into that yet. Then I'm going to make some others, other layers. Now, um, duplicate it again. And you can have as many layers as you want. You can duplicate, duplicate, duplicate as many times as you want. And um, unboxings. And I still haven't posted that MacBook Pro unboxing. So I'll do that later. Just I've been sick and I haven't really had time. So then if you click on that again, it changes. And I'm just going to do four. So the last one I'm going to do is Jake's Tutorial. Oh, actually, sorry, Jake's Tutorials.com. I'm going to make this T a capital, and I'm going to lower this to 36. And yeah, that's kind of small, but it'll work. So now, once you've gotten all your layers, um, you want to uncheck that one. And you want to go to your first layer, check it. You want to go into Window and Animation, and um, if you see this, I had a problem with this today. Um, you just want to go over where you see this little icon, and you want to push it, and it'll bring you back. So that's how you fix that. And you can make it as many seconds as you want, but change that. And now on to the next layer, you're going to push this little button then you're going to uncheck this, go to the next layer push the button again, uncheck it, go to the next layer push it again, uncheck it, go to the next layer so I usually like making the last layer a little bit longer but that's just my choice, like your choice I guess so um, that's basically it and if you push play Jake Tutorials, Free Tutorials, Unboxing, JakeTutorials.com, and I'm working on that site still, so um, you can check it out if you want, but you really don't have to. So that is basically it for the animation part.
Now if you want to publish it, you want to go into File, then Save for Web and Devices. I'm sorry if this is a little slow, my computer's been acting up. I don't know why, but save it as a GIF or PNG. I like GIF because that's the default. Then just save it. And something should come up soon. And I'm going to name it Animation Test. So just push save. It should save that. And then um, I'm going to bring this down. And if you go into this, you will see that you can bring it up into a browser and it'll look pretty fine, like pretty good. So just um, try this out. It's really easy to do. It's really simple. It's, it, it's definitely better than a banner or a normal banner because it's animated. And so just if you need help, call um, the comment box and subscribe and request some other tutorials. And sorry if I'm like kind of hard to think. I'm really, really tired. I haven't got much sleep and I'm sick, which makes it really hard. So, comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope you like this tutorial. And please don't, one thing I don't want you to do is go into the comment box and say this tutorial sucks because all I taught you was how to animate a banner. Um, I didn't teach you how to add pictures or anything. This is a simple animation banner, or actually tutorial. Now, if you want a more experienced one, just comment and ask or PM me or comment on my profile. So again, comment, subscribe, and I hope and I hope you like this tutorial.